everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you all are having an amazing day here's my albondigas recipe i hope you all enjoy it these are the ingredients five tomatoes fresh oregano and mint leaves two carrots four potatoes and two mexican squash chicken bouillon one onion two garlic cloves tomato bouillon and salt You want to start off by washing all your vegetables well and peeling your carrots. The next step is chopping all of your vegetables. Uh, make sure you don't chop them too thin because they will fall apart in the pot. When you're done chopping your potatoes, make sure you put them in a separate bowl uh, with water so they don't turn brown. I'm using ground turkey for uh, my recipe today, but you can use ground beef as well. I'm gonna add half a cup of rice to the mixing bowl. And next I'm gonna chop the uh, mint leaves. Make sure you chop them uh, fine. because you're gonna go into the albondigas. Next, chop the oregano. Make sure you use fresh oregano. It gives it um, more flavor. Chop that up finely as well and add it to your mixing bowl. Chop up a garlic. We're only using one for the albondigas. And a third of an onion. I use white onion, but you can use brown. A brown onion. And add that to your bowl as well. And this is what it should look like. Next thing I'm gonna do is add um, three tablespoons of flour. I believe I only showed two, but I ended up adding an extra one because I felt the consistency wasn't right. And I feel like turkey's mushier than uh, ground beef. So I just added uh, an extra tablespoon just to be safe. Next thing I'm gonna do is add um, some garlic salt. I added one teaspoon of it. Cause you gotta have flavor, you know. You don't want bland food. You wanna add a seasoning, sazon, okay? So add a one teaspoon of garlic salt and then I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of pepper and I'm also going to add salt A 
that's just regular table salt. And one egg for one pound of meat. If you do two pounds, you can add two eggs, three pounds, three, and so on. Okay, this is where you have to have your hands really clean. Make sure you wash them. So you're gonna mix all the ingredients together. Oh, there I go, adding the extra tablespoon. That's the third one of flour. The next step in the recipe is to shape your albondigas. I roll mine into the size of a golf ball, but you can make yours uh, smaller or larger. It all depends on your liking. See, that's the size that I make them. This recipe should give you about 14 albondigas. There's a baby one right there. That's for my niece. Shout out to her, baby Elizabeth. Can't wait to meet you. Turn your stove on and set it to low heat. Next, you wanna add about a quarter of a cup of oil to your pot. The next thing we're gonna do is make the broth for the albondigas. You start off by chopping up uh, the five tomatoes before adding them to your blender. So add them to your blender. And add a quarter of an onion to that as well. And two garlic cloves. Next thing you want to do is add the chicken bouillon because remember we want it to have flavor. You're going to add tomato bouillon as well. And I'm going to add a chile chipotle. I add two because we don't like it that spicy. But you can always add more to it if you'd like. Make sure you blend your ingredients well. I'm going to add about three cups of hot water. And blend for another 30 seconds. Your oil should be hot by now, so the next step is to add the broth. Give it a stir. I'm gonna add two more cups of hot water into the blender cup and add it into the broth.
give it a taste and add salt to your liking. Now we're going to add our albondigas to the broth. Make sure you add them one by one and very carefully because your broth um, is going to be really hot. After you add all of your albondigas to the broth, cover your pot and cook them for about 15 minutes on medium to low heat. You'll know they're cooked when you see them floating to the top. This is what they look like once they're cooked. Now we're gonna add our carrots, potatoes, and Mexican squash to the albondigas. Make sure you save uh, some of the oregano stems for your final boil. You're gonna boil it for about 20 minutes. Come back and check to see if your vegetables are soft. Uh, the carrots usually take the longest, so that's what I like to check for. Put the lid back on and cook for an additional 15 minutes. After your 15 minutes, your albonigas are ready. Look how beautiful and delicious these look. They smell so good, I wish you guys could smell them. I also like to make this uh, on the side. It has onions, jalapenos, and lime juice. It complements the dish really well, in my opinion. Thank you all for watching my video. Please like and subscribe for more recipes. Thanks for stirring the pot with me. Until next time.